This is Dapu7. I wanted to make you aware of this new alert that's been put out by this public health expert out of Columbia University. He specializes in disaster preparedness, and when he looks at what's going on with our country and our country being ready for, say, a nuke attack, he doesn't think that we're in a good position at all. Out of all the cities, though, there is a handful that tops the list, and of those cities, the top six being New York City, which has been telegraphed to be destroyed in almost every movie you've ever seen, from Independence Day to the State Puff Marshmallow Man. Chicago on the list, right behind that. Then Houston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, so Cali having two places. And then Washington, D.C., and as I've said before, D.C. would be perfect for certain individuals uh, to basically have their Building 7 moment. Because if D.C. was to get hit in the right way, it would wipe away all and any evidence of anything that has gone down in there. This guy goes on to say that in terms of FEMA, FEMA has 15 disaster scenarios. That's it. Out of all everything that they deal with, 15 disaster scenarios in a nuclear attack on a large metropolitan area is one of them. So I pay attention to this because oftentimes we see these events that do go down are connected to drills and, and things of this nature. So FEMA just has simple advice for everyday citizens when it comes to this. Get inside, stay inside, and stay tuned. So a nuke just goes off. You can see it out your window, the closest city, big old mushroom cloud. They say just go inside, shut the doors, shut the windows, and sit next to your radio. They're saying that that's not going to go down well because many people are going to die in this chaos of confusion, so to speak, because not everyone is going to even know what to tune into. Not everyone has an emergency radio. And this guy goes on and on about how FEMA just is not adequately prepared for this. And the only time we see, seem to see any parts of a drill or anything out of them is when things go live. So I just wanted to point out these six cities at the top of the list. If you're in one of them, you may want to have a plan in case anything like this ever does go down to get out of there quick. I'll leave links below. Join me on the live streams Monday and Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern where I talk about this and a whole lot more. Much love, y'all. He is so poor that his girlfriend decides to leave him, and then he inherits $50 million. Salakia. All right, Shalom. Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Mahawa Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one and true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one only true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahashai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole Philalek. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the Servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much, Dabu7, he put up a video, all right, and um, pretty much in this video, he goes over uh, what this um, public health expert um, at Columbia University stated. He stated that there's supposed to be six uh, U.S. cities, all right, targeted to be destroyed, bombed, all right. Now, the elders and apostles of Great Millstone has been prophesying this for years, that America was going to be destroyed in thermonuclear fire. Now, there's six cities that this expert has named, all right. New York is one of them. Chicago is one of them. Um, I believe it was... Um, it was New York, Chicago, uh, San Francisco, right, which was in California, 
So there's like six, but I forgot the other three that he was naming. But I know um, New York, San Francisco, um, Chicago, and it was like three other three other ones that he named are you know are targeted to be bombed. So you know, pretty much prophecies is being um, fulfilled, man. Prophecies are slowly coming to pass. You know, just as what our other apostles are hard titled this year as this year's titled as hopeful, hopeful, all prophecies come to pass. And this is pretty much what is getting ready to happen. So all you Jakes out there that's been mocking the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, all you Jakes out there that became enemies to Great Millstone and want to teach your own doctrine and want to do all these other bugged out things, you better repent. You better repent, man. That's all I got to say. You better repent and, and, and get yourself in order, man. Because um, things are about to change real soon. So we're going to get into um, some scriptures. This is uh, like Ezekiel 35. Because <clears throat> Ezekiel 35, it talks about America being destroyed. Okay? With thermal nuclear fire. You know, so we're going to get more of this out. This is uh, <clears throat> Ezekiel 35 and 1. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. All right. Who is Mount Seir? What is Mount Seir? Mount Seir is this place called America. Which is Babylon the Great. Alright. This is modern day Mount Seir. Modern day Rome. Modern day Egypt. Mount Seir is this place called America. Alright. It says and prophesy against it. And the men of the Lord. Starting from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. On down to the sincere brothers like myself. Alright. We're prophesying against it. We're warning and telling our people. What is due to come. We're letting them know who they are according to the scriptures. They're letting them, we're letting them know who their true power is. We're giving them prophecy and warning them and telling them to repent. Because this is getting ready to happen. Regardless if you believe in it or not. It's going to come to pass. Alright. Verse 3. And say unto it. Thus saith the Lord. Right. Thus saith the Lord power. Behold. O Mount Seir. Which is this place called America. I am against thee. The heavenly father, Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, is against this place called America. It says, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. How is the Lord going to make America desolate? With thermal nuclear fire, right? Thermal nuclear fire, thermal nuclear destruction, all right? That's how America is going to be desolate. It's going to be destroyed in thermonuclear fire. Them ICBM missiles, those intercontinental ballistic missiles. All right. You can't stop a missile that's coming 600 miles per hour. And when it hits, boom, that's it. This place is going to be destroyed. Verse four, I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is ordaining this to happen. The Lord is setting these things all up to happen. Prophecy is being fulfilled. All right. Prophecy is being fulfilled. You will want to repent. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred. Right. Who had a perpetual hatred? The Edomites. All right. These Edomites, which are you so-called white people, these Edomites, all right? Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the innocent blood of the children of Israel. Talking about these Edomites, all right? It says, because thou has had a perpetual hatred and shed the innocent blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. 
in the time that their iniquity had an end because we disobeyed the heavenly father. We didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We broke the old covenant. So the Lord sent the 17 heathen nations, you know, sent us because we kept basically falling away of the heathen, man. So the Lord sent, gave us over to the heathen, man. All right. And Esau, he took everything over by the sword. He committed a lot of bloodshed. Right. Against the children of Israel, you know, but he took he overly did it. You know, he overly did his his uh, how can I say that? his authority in ways he over overdid it. So now he got to suffer for it, which goes to uh, Isaiah. I believe is uh, Isaiah 14, uh, 21 through 22. He got to suffer the afflictions of that, man. So now it's going to come back. And this is that prophecy. Verse six. Therefore, as I live, see, this is what the heavenly father said in the Bible. Therefore, as I live, say of the Lord power. I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. See if thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Talking about these Edomites in your kingdom. Because right now, you guys are in your kingdom. Right? This is your kingdom right now, you to these Edomites. All right? You guys are ruling and, can, and, and controlling everything. Right? Verse 6. I mean, verse 7. It says, thus will I make Mount Seir, which is America. So this is what the Lord said he's going to do to your kingdom. It's going to be destroyed. It says, thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. He's saying it again. He's going to destroy. America is going to be destroyed. You want to repent and seek your power because the Lord is going to. Before the nuclear missiles hit here, the elect is going to be beamed up. They're going to be delivered. And that's what we're hoping for to be that number. Because not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. All right. Not every single Hebrew Israelite is going to be saved. And let's get that out. I'm tired of quoting that. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. Zechariah 13 and 8. It says, It shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Who is that talking about? Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Who is that talking about? Two thirds. Two thirds of the nation of Israel is going to be put to death according to prophecy. They're going to be destroyed in thermonuclear fire because two thirds of the mindset of our people, they not following the instructions given of Yahweh Bashim Ashai. They're not doing that. They're either teaching their own doctrine. They're either going off on the scriptures. They're doing it for vain glory, right? They're striving to get rich instead of, instead of seeking the Lord and, and being under the Lord and getting those spiritual riches. They're getting the physical riches. They sold out under 501c3. They pushing false doctrine. They doing the things that they want to do. They having the philosophies to have my own free will. They saying the philosophy of only God can judge me. You guys are going to be fucking destroyed if you don't repent. It says, but the third shall be left therein. The, the third is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. The elect of the nation of Israel is going to be saved. They're going to be beamed up. They're going to be delivered. But two thirds are going to be put to death. And how are they going to be put to death? Like this. Ezekiel 35, this is how they're going to be put to death, right? Ezekiel 35 is 7, thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. You guys are going to be destroyed in that. That's how you're going to be put to death. You're going to be destroyed if you don't repent. Yeah, you're going to be destroyed if you don't repent. It says, and, and cut from off it him that passeth out and have that returneth. Verse 8. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men in thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Verse nine. And I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy cities shall not return and ye shall know that I'm the Lord. The Lord is going to destroy your kingdom and you're not going to be you're not going to rebuild it once once the Lord destroys your kingdom. Yahweh Shai is going to set his kingdom on the planet Earth. So before the Lord Yahweh Shai can come back, these prophecies have to be fulfilled. They have to be a cleansing here. America has to be cleansed. All right. I mean, this land has to be cleansed. So like America has to be destroyed. But this place, this land has to be cleansed. So Yahweh Shai can set his kingdom on the planet Earth. It has to be a cleansing here. This place is wicked. It's corrupt. So the Lord, he cleansed last time. The Lord cleansed it with water. Now he's going to cleanse it with fire. All right. Just like how the Lord did Sodom and Gomorrah. That's how America is going to be. 
destroyed. Ezekiel 35 and verse 9. And I will make thee, I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. And ye shall know that I am, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Verse 10. It says, Because thou hast said, These two, these two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and we will possess it. Whereas the Lord was there so the lord is going to destroy this place called america and it's going to be destroyed in thermonuclear fire and i got another precept <laughs> to prove what i'm saying and to like it this is um jeremiah 51 right Jeremiah 51 and 1, it says, Thus saith the Lord, anytime you see Lord in caps, it's talking about the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Behold, I will rise up against Babylon. Who is Babylon? What is Babylon? Babylon is a place called America, right? And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. America, America is going to be destroyed in thermonuclear fire. Verse 2. And I will and I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. How how the land gonna be emptied? Destroyed in thermonuclear fire. For in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. Talking about these other countries. These other countries is gonna bomb America. These other countries. You got North Korea, you got you got Russia, right? You got Iraq, right? You got China, Japan. Right, because when you go to uh, 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 Psalms chapter two, it says, "Why does why do the heathen rage? Because all the all the countries want to rule. America wants to stay on top, but all these other countries want to rule. So that's why they're all gonna go into war and they're gonna bomb each other because all the countries want to rule. They all want to rule, but none of them is gonna rule. Yahweh Shai is gonna rule. He's gonna set his kingdom on a planet Earth because we got next." According to what? Second Edris, right? Second Edris chapter six and verse nine. We got next. So all these countries are gonna bomb each other. Because all of them want to rule. Esau wanna keep his kingdom. He's trying to keep staying on top, but it's not gonna work. So America is gonna be destroyed in thermonuclear fire. So that's why you wanna not be embedded. In this society like that. Because we don't have too much time left here. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. This place called America is not your rest. That's why you're supposed to be. That's why the scripture said. Uh, Colossians 3 and 2. Set your affections on the things above. And not the things of the earth. You don't want to be embedded in this society. You shouldn't be trying to live a lavish life. In this society. Because we don't have much time left. You can't take this shit with you. All this shit that you got physically in your fucking hand, you cannot take it with you. It says, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. This place is polluted. Look at the philosophies that's doing being done. Look at the things that's being brought out. Look at the things that's taking place on the earth. Look how ridiculous things is happening. It is polluted. It shall destroy you. It shall destroy you mentally. It's bugging people out. These philosophies that Esau got right now, the things that he's bringing out, the laws that he has passed has fucking bugged a lot of people out. They're fucking bugged out. They're bugged out. You got sodomites every fucking where, man. You got kids that are little, don't even know really too much of what they're doing, and they being sodomites, man. You got wickedness going on the earth. It shall destroy you. Even with a sword destruction. Now that sword destruction is talking about a physical destruction. It can you're gonna be destroyed. If you if you if you treat this place as your resting place and you live trying to live your life like it's golden and trying to live a lavish life here, and that's all that's on your mind is living success and being rich here, you're gonna be destroyed. That's what that's saying. You're gonna be destroyed. Because you're supposed to be laying up your treasures on the things above, not the things of the earth. Matthew 6 and 19 through 21 tells you that, right? Luke, I think it's Luke 21, 34 through 35 tells us that, right? Micah 2 and 10 tells us that. And I'm reading scriptures right now. It tells us that. 
Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Don't treat America like your rest. It's not your fucking rest. This place is about to be fucking destroyed. This shit is about to go under a global economic collapse. This shit is about to fucking crumble. It says, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. So don't treat this place as your resting place. That will be your downfall. If you treat this place like your resting place, that's going to be your downfall. You don't want that. So you want to seek the Lord. You want to seek the Lord because this place is going to be destroyed in thermonuclear fire. You would want to seek the Lord. You would want to seek the Lord. This is Joel 3. Here he is. And we're going to read down, I think it's to 12. Um, mm, yeah. This is uh, Joel 3 and 9. It says, proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. It says, prepare war and wake up the mighty men. Who are the mighty men? The Israelite men. The men that are waking up. The more prophecies being brought out. The more the mighty men are waking up, the more the Israelite men are waking up to this truth. The more prophecies we're bringing out, the more the mighty men are waking up. So there's Israelites that's waking up, right? Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Verse 10, beat your plowshares and your, it says, beat, beat your plowshares into hooks and your proning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. And that's what's up. That's what's going on right now. These other countries see how weak America has become. If you look at, if you go right now and go on YouTube and look out and look at uh, 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 North Korea's military and their training, their training, North Korea's training and look at America's training, you'll say, yeah, America is fucking weak. They over there doing sit down planks. They over there swimming in mud. They over there carrying guns and running. North Korea is breaking cinder blocks. They're literally taking hammers, breaking cinder blocks on their fucking stomachs. Uh, laying on nails, breaking cinder blocks on them, literally slamming their fucking arms into the cinder blocks. I'm talking about cinder blocks, blocks. I'm not talking about regular bricks that you pick up that, that Craig Knock Debo out with. I'm talking about solid, 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 thick ass cinder blocks. And they literally breaking it. You can look, you can look at them. Their training is unbelievable. Their training is way unbelievable. And there's no women in their military. It's all solid iron. Ivan Drago men in their military, man. Just giving examples. If you look at North Korea's military and look at America's military, you will see a big difference in that shit. So America has become weak. Verse 11, assemble yourselves and come ye. It says, assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones come down, O Lord. And these other countries see how weak America has become. That's why they're not signing treaties with them anymore. Ronald Reagan treaty, they been got rid of, rid of that Ronald Reagan. Ronald Reagan did a treaty. I forgot what country it was with. Ronald Reagan did a treaty way back in the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. 80s. I think it was early 80s. And they got rid of that shit in like 2018. They didn't, they didn't, they got rid of that shit. Them countries didn't even, they got rid of that treaty, man. Verse 2, it says, let the heathen be weakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, right? It says, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. And that's coming from the Middle East. The Lord is, the Lord is setting his derision in the Middle East. That's where that's taking place. Let's get out that uh, Revelations, man. Revelations, um, I think it's 9 and 16 or 17, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. 9 and 16, we're going to read down to verse 18. Yep. This is this is proof that nuclear missiles is in the Bible. I just read a lot of scriptures on that, proving that it's in the Bible. And this is prophecies that haven't came to pass yet. Revelations 9 and 16. And the number of the army of the horses, and what is this talking about? What is the what is the what is the army of the horses? What is that talking about? The thermonuclear missiles, the missiles, the thermonuclear missiles and the number of the army of the horses. Men were two hundred thousand thousand. That's two hundred million nuclear missiles. This is in the Bible, whether you believe it or not. This is in the Bible. It says, and I heard the number of them. That's the number of the nuclear missiles. Two hundred thousand thousand. That's two hundred million nuclear missiles. That's in the Bible. 
Verse 17. And thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jessen and of brimstone. And brimstone is what? Sulfur. Gunpowder. Sulfur. When Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, it was destroyed with what? Sulfur. There's a there's a there's an Edomite archaeologist. If you look on YouTube, he literally went to Sodom and Gomorrah. He literally picked up the fucking ash from the Sodom and Gomorrah and lit it. And the fire still was lit from that fucking sulfur. So, yes. If you go if you go on YouTube and look at Sodom and Gomorrah, there's an Edomite archaeologist out there. And he went all the way out there to Sodom and Gomorrah. And he literally took the ash from Sodom and Gomorrah to this present time and, and took a match and lit it. And it still was consumed with fire. It still was able to still be lit with fire. That's how powerful the Lord is, man. And that brimstone is that sulfur, that gunpowder. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. And out of their mouths issued fire, smoke, and brimstone. And that brimstone is, is, is talking about uh, sulfur, gunpowder. Verse 18, it says, By these three was the third part of men killed. And the third part is, is, um, is uh, talking about the seed of the wicked. It says, By the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their out of their out of their uh, mouths. Verse nineteen, it's like it. it says, "For the power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto serpents." And the tail is talking about the end of the missile that they used to launch it from, right? Because the 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 uh, uh when it, when you go into the archer that bends his bow is basically the creators of the missile. But the tail is talking about the missile that they used to launch the missile from. They launched it. When they launch the missile, it shoots up. Right? It says, for their power is in their mouth and in their tails. Right? For their tails were like unto serpents and their heads with them. They do hurt. So this is in the scriptures. Nuclear missiles are in the Bible. Regardless if you believe in it or not. Nuclear missiles are in the Bible. And this is the prophecies that are going to come to pass. America is going to be destroyed in thermonuclear fire. So, hey, man, everything that um, Dabu7 was saying in this video, it, it might come to pass this year. We don't know for sure. I'm not going to say this is going to happen this year because we don't know. But we hope it does so we can get delivered. So you want to repent, man. You want to repent. So, Lord, one is less edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kachodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till next time I say, Shalom.